Hey guys, in this video, we are going to do some interesting stuff. We are going to take a retail transaction data, upload it into a database and ask some questions to generate some report from that database. Okay. So we are going to use database to store the data, chat GPT to ask the questions and Langchain to club all these things together. So let's start the process. Let's understand how to do this using Langchain. So this is how we will go guys. First, we will see introduction to SQL light. As I told you, we will use a database. So SQL light will be our database. Then I will walk you through what data we are going to use and I'm going to upload that in SQL light. Okay. Then I'm going to integrate various pieces of our code in Langchain. Okay. So the purpose is to do data analysis using Langchain or using chat GPT. Okay. And then analyzing response. So we will see how the response is coming. And then I'm going to walk you through a very interesting concept known as prompt templates. Okay. So let's start first of all with the introduction to SQL light. Now, what is SQL light basically? So SQL light stands for uh, simply SQL, which is lightweight, you can say the meaning of lightweight is it can run in your computer without any problem. Okay, and you can do stuff on this. And uh, if you want to, let's say, do some prototype or if you want to create a small solution, you can do things here and then replicate that in a larger database. So I'm just opening the page here. SQLite is a C library that provides a lightweight disk based database. OK, so it will be in your computer itself. No need of a server. OK, so it's easy to work with. Hence, uh, I thought of covering this as part of this video. OK, and allows accessing a database using a non standard variant of SQL language. I will show you now. Some application of SQL light are internal data storage. As I told you, it is possible to prototype an application using SQL light and then port the code to a larger database. Okay, so to build some prototype basically. Now, uh, how to work with basic SQL uh, light? So let me take you to Python. So in Python, you can import SQL light package like this, and you can simply say connect me to a database called tutorial.db. Okay, so tutorial.db database it will connect you to okay that is our default db there so if i run this right it will connect here and then uh, i'm going to create a table here if you see create table movie title year and score i'm just running this as you can see it says table movie already exists so what i have to do i have to go here and delete the table okay so i'm deleting the table now i will go here one more time and i will try to create the table and then I'm going to insert the record in the table. It's very simple. CUR is basically your cursor, which will, which is helping you to execute those commands. Okay. So I'm inserting data in the movies. So this is my title. This is my year and this is my score. Okay. So what is happening now? Uh, this has run already. Okay. And if I say commit, then it will get committed. And here I'm selecting title from movie. If you see, which means I'm running a query. And if I run a query, I ran this two times. So two times it is giving me. OK, so two times it is giving me. I ran this query two times. If I run one more time, right, it should give me six times. See two plus two plus two. So with this simple uh, piece of code is I'm trying codes. I'm trying to show you how SQL light is working. OK, so it is a disk based TV lightweight used to do some prototyping. OK, you can play around with this. Whatever I showed you now is already in the home page of SQL light here. OK, so nothing, uh, you know, I have written it is already on SQL light home page. You can just see that. Now let me walk you through our data, the data which we are going to use. OK, so in Kaggle, there is a retail sales data, guys. Uh, if you want, I can give you link in the description. But this is basically a very simple data. Uh, let me show you the Excel of this. So it has various columns, for example, transaction ID, date, customer ID, gender, age, product category, quantity, price per unit and total amount. So basically you can think of a retail transaction data. From this retail transaction data, I want to do certain analysis. For example, I want to ask what is the average sales per month? OK, so here data is there for all the months of 2023, right? So November, January, July, June. I want to ask, give me the average sales or average price per unit 
by every month so that is one report i want to generate okay if i have to do it in sql i can write a group by query and get it done but i want to do this using language model so what i am going to do i am going to take this data upload it in the database first and then ask questions using language models let me do that here let me do that here in my code so SQLite, you already got some idea what that is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply import the data that I showed you right now in Excel. OK, and before that, what I'm doing is I'm just importing my open AI key, which I have kept in a separate file. Some of the common packages are uh, imported here and then I'm initializing LLM Langchain uh, chat open AI module. OK, so very basic things happening here. I'm just reading that Excel file and I'm just uploading in an SQL Lite connection in a database called Aman customer. OK, and table name will be sales. So let me run this. Once I run this, what would have happened in background is there is a DB Aman customer dot DB created in SQL Lite. In that DB, there is a table called sales table uh, that I created just now. And what is the content of sales table? The content of sales table is nothing but retail underscore df that is your excel file okay and this is basically connection to the chat open ai now we have a database and we have data let's go ahead and try to do some query so what i'm going to do is i'm going to import some of the packages from langchain for example from langchain agents i'm going to take sql agent from agent toolkits i'm going to take database toolkit agent type and sql database okay and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply connect to a database called Aman customer dot DB. OK, this is the same database that I created above. Now in this database, I already have a table called sales. If you remember in that sales table, I have my transaction data. OK, second thing I had already created a LLM variable here. If you see chat open AI LLM variable. So these two things are critical for me to create SQL agent. OK, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create an SQL agent executor with specific parameters. OK, and in SQL agent, I'm saying LLM is equal to LLM and SQL database toolkit DB is equal to my DB, which is nothing but Aman customer DB and LLM is equal to LLM. Once I do this right, I have a LC agent executor, which means Langchain agent executor. So my database is uploaded. My connection is created. Now I will ask the questions. So let's go here and try to type some question. So for example, the first thing I'm saying is what is average sales across different product category? Now I'm not going to run this because I have run just before this video and sometimes it takes like three, four, five minutes to get response depending on the speed. Okay. So I'll just walk you through what is the response coming. Okay. So for example, if I say what is the average sales across different product categories, then what should happen here in this? There are different product categories, right? So how you will write a SQL query is you will simply go and say group by on this product category and give me the average sales. Now how the system is reaching there. Let's try to understand. It says I need to calculate average sales of each product category in the database. OK, select product category average sales from database sales table group by this. OK, group by this and then it says select product category average of sales. So it is running same query that we discussed just now. OK, now. The sales underscore table is not there, so it is it is taking sales table because that is the nearby table. So it is saying I should use SQL DB schema to query the correct table for the sales table. So sales initially by by uh, by uh, you know default it took sales underscore table, but our tail table name is sales table. Okay, so it will immediately change its query to sales table. Once it changes, right? You see here it is creating a table like this, and what it is doing? It is running a query like this. See, select product category average of total amount from sales. So here what is happening is group by product category. So this is your output. So if I go and filter in the beauty category, the average should be 467.47. So let's see that in beauty category. Yeah, 
इन ब्यूटी कैटेगरी एवरेज राइट फोर सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फोर सेवन दिस इज द एवरेज राइट एंड इफ आई चेंज द कैटेगरी देन द एवरेज विल बी फोर 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 थ्री पॉइंट टू फोर ओके सो दिस दिस नंबर राइट इज कमिंग बाय दिस एसक्यूएल क्वेरी एंड इट इज गिविंग बाय राइटिंग अ सिंपल लाइन ऑफ टेक्स्ट हियर सो आई कैन राइट अ डिफरेंट uh thing and generate a different report here and how the flow is happening that we need to understand so first it tried in the sales table it is not there so it looked for the alternate table and then it went into that table okay Go going back to the next next query right what age group is buying most now this one is a little difficult one because age group is not a direct column okay so what the query is going to do is it is going to create a, let's see how the query is created okay i should check the sales data to see which group is making the most purchase so initially first it will go and it will create it this from sales data again it will not find the sales data and it will go back to sales table but still in the sales table also the query it will run is Select age count star from total purchase group by, and then it will take the top one. So, I am asking for age groups, but it is giving me age. So final final answer it is giving me sixty four. Maybe sixty four age right? Sixty four age is the maximum here in the in our data. Okay, so that is why it is giving me sixty four. But what I am asking, I am asking the age group. So system is not able to create the age group. That is where something known as prompt templates comes very very handy okay this is the most important part of this video prompt template comes very very handy in prompt template what you say is you give some background info with your prompt okay and in in the background info i am saying my role is to analyze the transaction pattern of customer the feature engineering in table sales is crucial for statistical exploration for example column age can be grouped into bins of this and so on understanding the data in this column helps to gain insight enabling us to offer personalized services etc once i run this with some background info right then you will see that i need to examine the sales table because i am clearly saying here go to the sales table okay in the table sales so it is not going to the alternate table now as in previous examples it is going directly to the sales table i need to examine the sales table to see the data in age column action create table sales this thing and you know table is created and then it will simply go and create the buckets is like this they like this and this is your final response age group 106 21 25 age group 104 is 26 30 Over forty is five ninety seven. So which age group is buying most? It should be over forty. So final answer is over forty. Okay. Just try to understand how prompt templates is setting the context and helping us to get the right response. Okay. And you can play around with prompt templates with more variants of what you want to extract from the data. Fine. Let me show you some more interesting stuff from prompting strategies. Lang Chen page. So whatever I explained you now, some of these come from this page. Some of these come from my experimentation. But you can go to this page. So this page, you can simply search for prompting in Lang Chen. Okay, and you can simply write some SQL queries. For example, here find the total duration of all tracks. Query is this. Okay. So what is happening? It is different ways of prompting. So what I used is prompt template. Okay. You can do few short. from templates some other from templates zero sort etc right and you can play around with this so all in all what we have done as part of this video is we have taken a transaction data loaded in database through the use of lang chain we have done the query using plain simple english and we are getting the reports back you can create more fancy report you can create more uh, better prompt by using different prompting strategies okay so Let me know guys how did you like this video i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care